all the cut-in done and I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out that yes I know I'm not covering my floors but one I'm relatively neat there will be a little bit of splatter but I'm relatively neat two these floors are not permanent we are gonna be pulling them out at some point in the next year or two and so I don't care and three they are already covered in flecks of the teal paint which was underneath the original layer in here and white primer and the gray paint from whoever did a quick coat on the whole house before they sold it so I don't care but yes I would normally be covering the floors just so just so we're clear all right there's the money shot old ugly gray on the left and nice new pretty my wife says it's not gray it's a little gray it's like a you it's say a neutral. beige neutral gray is neutral Grayish. whatever it's not white look it's in here <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera right now but she's talking off camera <laughs> it's a nice calming color okay I it know. is a calming it's color calm. and she points out that it is called calm the color name is calm but there's you know we've got these two different tile floors there's so much visual interest there's a lot of there's a lot of different colors going on in here and so now this yeah it'll, it looks good it's it's something other than white or dark gray yep but it it doesn't take away from anything but it's like it's nice it's yep. there it's nice it's there it's just nice. trust me trust me on it that's only the first coat on uh you know one half of the the room so more to come tomorrow and preceding days or not preceding following days following days all right it is sunday afternoon now i got up and got a few more hours of painting done this morning before i went to church so here's where we are at this point i went ahead and finished the second coat on that front half of the family room so it is done and i can push all that furniture back and i also did from this outside corner here in the hallway all the way around down over the window the new window wall and around to that corner so all this now has one coat on it and i'll start second coat on here in a minute or in a little bit but now that i've done you know the one half of this room i'm going to go ahead and now move you know push all this furniture back and then pull that bookshelf out and push the couch out and everything and do from this corner right here all the way around the fireplace so may be able to get both of those coats done today it's early enough in the afternoon that i probably will and then the family room can get put back together and which will be super nice and then i'll just have to do the kitchen and the stairs up to the second floor area Good thing we have tall ladders like that to allow me to get all the way up to the tippy top of the stairwell. I've got that thing at almost full extension and I'm six foot five which gives you an idea of how tall the stairwell is. That's normal size stairwell but most times there's another stairwell like an attic stairs that are stacked over this one so it would be like kind of coming up like here so you just have this like one little space up here you can't get to. Put in a new light too by the way. 
Got rid of that nasty old thing. But anyway, normally you normally you don't have to reach this far out to like being really really high up over the stairs. That's why we have wonder ladders, which is what we call these ladders because they're wonderful. You probably hear the child in the tub that's serenading in the background. It is not 2023 anymore. The room probably doesn't look all that different from what it did in the last shot, but it is in fact March of 2024. Uh, I got this, you know, more or less done. I did finish, you know, the walls, both in the family room, hallway, and well, eh, technically, I still haven't, uh, still haven't quite finished over here. I never did come back and paint down paint down this side here so I still got to finish that but finish the hallway um, but you know things like cover plates on outlets they've been off for a year it's probably time I you know finish finish this project <laughs> so that's what this weekend is for I just saved you guys the uh, trouble of having to watch me sand all of the the spackled nail holes on all of this trim right here but I am now ready to paint and so I'm gonna try to get everything painted today it's early enough in the day I think I can get one coat on the whole thing and then go do some other stuff and come back once it's dry and hit a second coat and then I need to I wasn't really joking I have these these outlets have been like this for well over a year not only do I need to actually replace the devices I did the switches so I did all the switches you know in the hallway um over there by the back door but i need to do the backsplash outlets and switches and then all of the outlets around the room which are not done so it's high time we finish this project and this video series Okay, I got all of the painting done yesterday. Probably doesn't look a lot different on camera, but it looks a lot better in person than it has for the last year of just being primed and caulked and spackled without paint. Um, also, not sure if it shows up on camera. I only did one coat and it looks pretty freaking good for only having one coat. It's not quite as shiny as it would be if it had two, but it looks totally fine since especially if anybody's watching this who was watching from the beginning of this series this is all this entire thing is most likely temporary uh, until we kind of do a first floor renovation so it's a good chance we're gonna end up tearing all this out at some point in the future so 
I'm not going too overboard on um, making it totally perfect uh, because the rest of the house isn't perfect and I'm just not going to spend that time on it. I think it looks really good. It does look good. But I would in if it was staying permanently, I would do a second coat just for the sake of seeing it be consistent. But it looks awesome. And I mean, we still have, you know, we have tiled baseboards and, you know, two different floors that join here. Like it's not, it's not perfect and it won't be perfect until we fix things in the future. I kind of like that it's not, um, but anyways, I mean, we also have children. And they yes, we have children. Like and this, so. you know, this was fresh paint a year ago and it's, you know, gets bumped and chipped and things like that. But now it's time to start turning off some breakers and replacing electrical devices. It's also an unseasonably warm day, so we got the windows open. <laughs> One day last year, I went through the whole house and counted up all of the, you know, lights, light switches, receptacles, all that kind of stuff, and made a list of everything I need and went to a local electrical supply house and got this box full of, you know, replacement everything basically. Should have everything I need to replace everything in the whole house. Now we'll do, we'll eventually be, you know, probably making some changes to layouts of things again when we do a more extensive remodel down the road. But got everything I need for today. So time to start swapping stuff out. And we're done. New outlet, new outlet, new outlet, new outlet down there, new outlet down there, new outlet, new outlet, new outlet, wife on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Uh, blue tape that has been here for well over a year, uh, gone. So now it actually looks good, you know. We, I started this project on New Year, no, Christmas Eve, 2022, and it is currently March 2nd, I believe, 2024. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize it had been that long. <laughs> it's like a year and a quarter, give or take. Um, yeah, I mean, I got it like 99%, in, my, in fairness, I got it like 99% done like less than a year over a year ago like you know february ish 2023 and then i started doing other things never came back to it it's now finally done trim painted on both sides of the opening um yeah it's again it's 
If you're here for the first videos, it's kind of a hodgepodge like this. It's not how I would do the crown and all this stuff if it was stained permanently, but it's it looks fine for what it is. It's way better than it did. It does look way better. It's we only lived in the house for what, like four months with it being wait, two months. We lived in the house for two months with this not existing. So now it's hard to remember like what it looked like before we you know, blew a hole in the wall, more or less. And uh, it's obviously made life much better because now we have somewhere to actually sit and eat food when we decide we want to, yeah. you know, sit at a table. And also, it makes the kitchen feel less... Like, the kitchen's not a very... It's not the most pleasant room it's in a, the house. It's a fairly small room. So and it, it makes it a little better for yeah. in there. Now, like, this entire side of the house feels like it's all one room. Yeah. Because um, there's just this little... You know, a little bit of wall separating the two. Mm -hmm. So we can sit here and we can watch YouTube or whatever while we eat. And, you know, we can actually have, I mean, the bar top seats for, we have our four little stools. But then whoever's sitting at the bar is also very much still engaged with, you're still like part of the conversation if somebody else is sitting on the couch. Like we've had people over, like more than four people over since we've done this. Uh, and you can have, you kind of host a, a little bit bigger group of people. Um, without having like a giant kitchen or dining room table. So, kitchen renovation 1.0 is complete. Yeah, it's like, it's much better than it was. It's much better than it was. Yeah. Um, oh, these two rooms just are much better yeah. than they were. So. Have you done this one? <clears throat> I did do that one. That was the first one I did a couple hours ago or an hour ago or whatever. See how it's all nice and white and not a hole in the wall like it has been for the last year? <laughs> well, that's it. We're done. Moving on to other projects. We're gonna, yes, next next project. She, ha she has an idea for the next project. I don't like cords and stuff. And I also, okay. The footprint of the, these two rooms is not gonna really change. Like we may do a mudroom addition but yep. like the living room and the kitchen are staying the same. So we can't add square footage to this room. Eventually like that wall's coming down. So we will have to fit a table and chairs in there. And so that means like this, we're gonna have to have like a couch here and like maybe two chairs and blah, blah, blah. So I, like I'm trying to reduce the amount of things that like live on the floor to give this room more space. So we're gonna do a floating like mid-century Mom entertainment center, if style, you will. Like, yeah. yeah. Put the TV up on the wall. We were basically given this piece of furniture, but it was from some of our friends, like their grandparents' furniture, and they didn't want it at the time, and so we took it, and they basically are, would like it back. Well, and I, I was like, hey, because yeah. it's their grandparents. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I need, to, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> would you like to have it since it was your grandparents? And they were like, yes. So. Yep. So we're gonna build something. I am going to build something different for this, and that'll that'll be my next project. It won't be the next video on the channel because I've got other stuff that'll be coming out uh, after this this video. But that's the next the next project. So stick around, come back and see us when we work on that, and that'll be it for this video. So thanks everybody for watching as always. Thanks for all the support and views and stuff and. It's it's fun keeping getting back into the swing of making these videos. Uh, it stopped for quite a while. Uh, well, I was filming a little bit, but it stopped actually editing and uploading for a while. It's been fun getting back into it. So, see you guys on the next one.